Hey guys, it's Scott here, and look, it's actually me. It's not just a random gameplay with me talking over it. So, this is, as you can see by the title, my 1,000 subscriber celebration video, I guess you'd say. So, I've got to obviously say thank you for letting me reach that milestone. At the start of the year, that was originally my plan to get to by the end of the year, but somehow... I've basically rocked it up and got it by the end of January. I actually reached it at like 2 o'clock this morning, so that is pretty awesome. And I've got to thank you guys for all your support for watching me recently. And hopefully, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Hopefully you continue to enjoy my content in the future. So, this video is going to be a few things. Obviously people wanted to see what I look like, so hey, it's me. Uh, I will be getting a face cam soon, so when I play through things like Dead Space 3, which comes out in just over a week, I think, I will be showing you the face cam as well, so you'll probably see me get scared, which won't be very fun. You'll probably enjoy it, but I won't. Screw you. Well, not really, but yeah. You shouldn't make fun of people for getting scared, even though I would too, but never mind, let's just... Stop rambling on about that, but yeah, you wanted to see what I look like. Also, stuff to do with uni, musical instruments, a few questions that I've got, so I'll go through them, but the main thing is obviously a room tour or setup video, so let's do it, shall we? Here we go. Uh, you come through the door, and here is like a little panorama, I guess, of the room. There you go. Uh, not the biggest, but it... It's fine. So we've got a good old, compare the meerkat calendar, look what we've got forward to, uh, got to look forward to next month, what will it be? Oh, look at that, it's a meerkat in a bunny suit, that's pretty awesome. Uh, on the door, we've got a signed PK poster, that is pretty awesome, PK is an absolute legend, I, he's one of my favourite players, he's just a god. Uh, we've got a really old photo there, I don't know why that's still on the wall, but... Why not? Uh, and this is something I did at uni. Uh, we did it about two months ago in like some spray paint workshop and using stencils and stuff. That was actually a decent result. I'm happy with that. Uh, we've got a double bed here with your uh, standard Angry Bird in the corner. We've got some rock band stuff down here. Don't know how well you can see this. The video is probably rotating and stuff as well. Uh, but rock band keyboard, rock band guitar. We've got school photos that I can't be bothered to put up on the wall. Uh, we've got some more up there as well. We've got posters that I can't be bothered to put up either because I'm just lazy like that. So they're from Gamefest, Eurogamer, uh, other stuff like that. Uh, we've got uh, the bedside table which is basically where I put stuff that I'm not using anymore. So uh, I've got like little coins and stuff on that and radio that I need to actually uh, sort of set up and a lot of uni stuff that I may talk about. What I'm going to do is show you like the whole room and then I'll talk about uni stuff and other things at the end so that is that and obviously oh we've got under bed storage which is basically a landfill I basically put uh, whatever the hell I want to in there it's just a tip it's one of those places where you just chuck stuff that you're not using because you're not gonna see it uh, same with up here most of this is all junk, but there is one legend, Craig the Duck. I'll quickly explain the story behind him. In 2010, I went on a music tour at school, and we won him in a claw machine, and he basically became the tour mascot and has been ever since. So every sort of trip I've been on since, he has come uh, on the trips, and he's basically been a lot of places. He's been to Holland, New York, Belgium, Germany, Spain... Yeah, he's basically been a lot of places, so he's just uh, a legend, basically. It sounds a little bit odd, and if you do think that, you're probably right, but um, yeah, that's just one of those things, and obviously we have got the wardrobe, but there's no point in me explaining a wardrobe, uh, is there? So, what else have we got? A desk chair that I really need to get rid of, Homer slippers there coming into the shot. Um, Desk chair that doesn't really get used unless I'm uh, editing or something, but yeah, I really need to get rid of it and get a new one, but never mind. I would put it under there, but there's a keyboard stand not in use. I should just move that, but I can't be bothered, as per usual. Uh, we've got a beanbag and a, a recliner. Oh, there you go. So, I do actually use the desk chair. Say, like, if I'm doing live streamers and stuff, I'll just be on my uh, recliner chair. 
and I'll have my laptop on there so I can look at the stream comments whilst I'm uh, playing. So, that is that. And we've also got a beanbag for whenever, say, my dad or whoever wants to play FIFA. Uh, obviously, I'll sit in the recliner, he'll be on the beanbag, and we'll just play a little bit of FIFA. So, that is that. Next, we have got some more instruments. I'll go on to them in a minute. Uh, a s what is it? A skyline of New York, which I can't be bothered to put up because I don't want to make like a few holes in the wall. Um, that just brings back memories of uh, Bring on the Wall. If anyone gets that reference, then yeah, you, you know how bad it was as well. Well, it was bad, but it was pretty awesome at the same time. Uh, we've also got a keyboard over here. Uh, I guess I can explain that now. I played keyboard... Basically, I've sort of been self-teaching myself over the last three months. Not too bad. Uh, getting there slowly. We've got some keyboard books down there as well to help me out. Down here, we've got a clarinet, uh, which is the smaller case right there. Been playing that for about ten years. Got to grade six on that. We've got a saxophone that I've had. Uh, well, it's actually my dad's that I've borrowed. I'm sort of learning that. Um, been learning that for probably less than a month. I don't know, but... It's basically the same, just a bit bigger, so it's not that difficult. I've got a drum kit in the uh, living room, uh, much to my uh, family's uh, disgust. Uh, but yeah, I'm grade 5 on that. I've played that for a while, and that's pretty awesome. I actually picked that up pretty fast. Uh, what else have we got? This uh, guitar, obviously. We've got an Ibanez. I don't know what model it was. I can't remember. It's got an L somewhere in there. Is it in tune? Ish. We'll take that. But yeah, I've been self-teaching myself a guitar as well for a, for a while, just learning random songs on it when I want to. So, that is that. Uh, the, obviously, we've got the setup. So what I'm going to do is show you the setup, and then I'll go through like uh, uni stuff as well at the end, in case anybody wants to see that, because a couple of people have asked about it. So, on to the actual setup. Here are all of my games. So, we've got Halo 4 at the top, because I've played that recently. Uh, those two are there, because I play them all the time, Black Ops 2 and FIFA 13. They are what I play, like, near enough every time I go on, so that's just quick access there. there. But, here are all my other games, so... I have sold quite a few, otherwise I would have a lot more. We've also got uh, Barcelona v Real Madrid uh, tickets. What what a game that was. Don't know why they're still there, but I'm obviously never going to get rid of them. Uh, we've got more games. Um, yep, simple as that. Viva Piñata Party Animals. What a, what a great game. I was going to say terrible, but that would be lying. Uh, we've got some PS3 games, PS1, Crash Bandicoot, what a legendary game, that was so good, anyone who played that loved that. Um, we've got some movies, we've got DVDs, Big Bang Theory, big fan of that, uh, more DVDs, Family Guy, a lot of Family Guy, and some films, Blu-rays, blah blah blah. Uh, what we've got down here, we've got some extra controllers, uh, I think we've got a PS3 one in there under this, have we? Yep, we do. Uh, but we've got mainly Xbox controllers and spare batteries and stuff in case I ever need them. So let's just put this back in its uh, temporary spot. And we'll get on to the main setup. So here we go. We have got on the left. We're going to go from left to right. Uh, we have got a Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, cost about £100 or something. I don't know. But it's pretty awesome. And that's what I've been using uh, like since I got it. I've never wanted to go back to my old microphone, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's got a pop filter on the front as well, because that just makes the uh, quality a little bit better. We've got, uh, what keyboard is this? I think it's the Microsoft Sidewinder keyboard, like £30 or something. It's pretty awesome. And look at this. Boom! Okay, you can't see it at all. Um, no, you can't, because the light in my room is actually on, but it does, it does light up. Um, Look at this. Look at that, it lights up. Boom. So, yeah, it's, it's really not as impressive as I'm trying to make it sound. But yeah, uh, that's a pretty awesome keyboard. Whoa, cheap for uh, what it actually does. It's got a lot of extra like little features and buttons and stuff, like quick access to, uh, say, calculator and playing and stopping music, mute and all, all that kind of stuff. And you've also got programmable things for if you're playing games. So, pretty awesome. Uh, next, we've got a Razer Naga mouse, 
can't remember how much this was, probably around £50, but it's pretty awesome. It's got a lot of buttons on the side, and it just feels it feels good in your hand. So I like that mouse. It's really good, and a uh, Razer mouse mat as well, just to go with that. So uh, this is sort of my PC setup. We've got a desk here, but that's got uni stuff on it right now because I don't use it. Uh, well, I don't use that for, like, gaming or whatever. So, PC monitor. Uh, God knows what this is. It's Samsung 23-inch something. I don't know. 1080p. It's got speakers in it. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. It's just a really good monitor. Pretty thin as well. It's basically pretty awesome and was, like, the best I could get for the price. I can't remember how much that was. Sorry about that, but it doesn't really matter, does it? So, next we've got my laptop, which... Say, like earlier I said if I'm live streaming, I would have it on this chair and look at the comments when I'm playing. But normally, say if I'm editing or whatever, I would have my laptop on here. I'd probably be watching videos or whatever, or listening to commentaries, or who knows, whatever I'm doing. Uh, just whilst I'm doing this, and then, yeah, it's just easy access. I have Twitter on it, like, open near enough all the time, so... Yeah, that is the main use of my laptop. It's slowly dying out. It is a MacBook from 2009. I really need a new laptop, but I cannot afford one right now. So, yeah, simple as that. What have we got behind here? We've got uh, architecture books. That is uni stuff. I'll go into that in a minute. We've got a TV aerial that for some reason gets absolutely no signal. It's basically terrible, but I don't watch much TV on my telly anyway. Do most of it online. Random stuff from, like, Spain and that. We've got a uni... Uh, timetable that I consult a lot and look at that um, wait where are we what's the date right now the date is something like the first so I don't know if you can see that if it's focused or not there we go on the 11th I'm off study trip to Paris and then we come back for like six weeks and then it's Easter come back for a few more weeks but I actually finish uni there uh, so on the 6th of May, I actually finish. So once that happens, there's going to be a hell of a lot of videos coming out. But yeah, uh, what else have we got? We've got oh, we've got random bets here. I don't know. You can have a look at those if you really care. I'm probably going to lose those, but you've got to have a go, haven't you? So there you go. There's some bets. Who knows? I could win, I could win like 200 quid. Uh, Astro Mix Amp, which uh, leads to these Astro A40s. I've been using these since I got them. They are really good. I used to have Turtle Beaches, but I got these. They are just really, really good. I would, like, if you want to buy a good gaming headset, I would advise Astros because they've not gone wrong for me. They've been really reliable, and they're basically just pretty awesome. So we've got the mix amp for the Astro here as well, so you can change it between... Let me try and do this without the camera sort of rotating. Uh, change the main volume for everything and you can also change like how loud you have it between let's try and focus this uh it's not going to happen oh there it is game and voice so say if you want to if you're in a party you want to just listen to everyone you turn that all the way if you're sound whoring turn it all the way down there so yeah that is pretty awesome and uh, we've obviously got tv remote and controller that is the controller i use just a standard one no like extra buttons on the back or anything like that and I do actually use Control Freaks, even like when I'm playing FIFA. Uh, they're FPS Freaks, I should say. So yeah, that is that. Next, we have got the Elgato Game Capture HD. This is what I actually capture my footage with. So that plugs into the back of the Xbox and also plugs into uh, my computer. So I go on here and I... Uh, where's the mouse? There it is. Just click on here, and if there's an input, which there won't be because the Xbox isn't turned on, then it basically transfers the signal from there and brings it onto here, and I record it, and everything is pretty goddamn awesome, if I'm going to say that. So, there you go, there is the Elgo Auto Game Capture HD. That's how I capture all my gameplay. Obviously, we've got a big TV. A 32-inch LG. I've had this for a few years. It's been really reliable. Nothing wrong with it. It works perfectly and it's the right size for what I need so that's that uh, we've obviously got those two as well glasses case there for no reason don't know why it's there uh, we've got euros but that's just for Paris coming up soon but obviously we've got the Xbox uh, I do have a PS3 you're not going to be able to see this but I do have a PS3 down there um, 
Yeah, PS3 down there that I never use. Should probably sell it, really. Oh, well, never mind. But I've got an Xbox here. This is what I use all the time. Let's see what's in. Um, FIFA, there you go. So, yeah, FIFA and COD are what I play near enough all the time on my Xbox. But, yeah, that is basically the setup. So, we've got a PC down there, which I will put the specs... Uh, in the description or a link to the specs, you really can't see it that well, but I will put a link in the description to show you the specs of that. We've got my PC setup over here uh, that I use for all my editing and everything, and look, there you go, there's the uh, game capture actually starting up, but I don't need that on. We've got my laptop and the TV and Xbox there, so uh, that is sort of it for the setup. Now, a couple of people did want to ask about uni stuff, so I thought I'd throw this into this video as well, just because it makes it a bit easier. But for those of you that don't want to see that, uh, thanks for getting me to a thousand subscribers. The support has been really good, and I hope you enjoy my videos in the future. If you want to stick around and watch this, then here we go. So, uh, people have asked what I do, and like I said, there is my timetable. I am at uni near enough every day. Unfortunately, uh, some people only have to go in like two or three days a week. But I'm in every day and I do architecture at De Montfort University. So if you are on that course, that would be a bit odd. But I highly, highly doubt that. Uh, maybe some of you are at uni yourselves. Who knows? But yeah, I do architecture at DMU. So the kind of stuff I do... Um, uh, this is something from like the start of the year. You can't really see it because it's on tracing paper, but... We basically have to make models and then make drawings from the models, so let's just do a very, very quick overview of the stuff I've done. This is what I did in the first month. Uh, we have uh, initial drawings, then we made a model from that drawing, there it is. Then we had to take photos of that model and draw them. And this was all done in charcoal, not pencil. I'd never used charcoal before, but it turned out okay. Then we had to create a model from that charcoal. So, in the first month, we actually did quite a bit, and going from that to what we did next was quite a quite a different step. So, we basically had to choose a site, and I chose this. Uh, we had a choice of two, and we had to do site analysis on that. It's basically a jetty at the Attenborough Arboretum in Leicester. No one will know what that is, but there you go. Then we had to basically do drawings of our concept design, so these are all like uh, done with pencil, not on a computer or anything. We had to make a model from that, and then uh, do our design from that, like our final design. So, um, here's some more drawings of that. You really can't see them that clearly, but let's say, for example, uh, final elevations, and then the final model. I'll quickly go over that. So... Um, where are they? Final elevations. Look, uh, this is what I did. I had to do drawings of my building. There you go. And then I had to make a final model. So, that is this thing right here. This was my final design um, for the first term. Uh, it actually turned out pretty cool. Um, it is sort of a simple box, but uh, it has like sliding features. Nobody else had this, so like this interior wall slides to the side. And so from the outside, if these are all closed up, which probably won't work, it'll probably fall over like that. Yeah, it's just going to fall over. Because of how much I've like slid it around the actual place it goes in, has sort of broken down. But my design was like a sliding house, so from the outside you can't really tell where the doors actually are. And roof goes on like that, but yeah. It is actually all glued down and there's windows and stuff in it. So this is all stuff that we've done in like the first three or four months of actually being in uni. So going from those drawings I showed you at the start to this is such a massive leap. But yeah, that is kind of what I've done. We've also done a couple of other things that I'll very quickly show you, but then uh, that's going to be it. So workshops, we've done uh, drawings of like our house and our bedroom and stuff. Uh, precedent studies, we had to do an A1 drawing of a building, that took a hell of a lot of time, but yeah, this is what I do at uni, I do architecture, done quite a lot of it, and it's going really well, so, that's going to be it for the setup video guys, I hope you enjoyed, here is my actual setup, and I will see you guys next time I guess, thanks for 1000 subscribers, and 
yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy my future videos, and goodbye.